Hi guys, this is Sandy Verma. So I am showing you this experiment once again. There are fruits everywhere. You can see here this plant as well. And here, and here, this plant, this plant again. So everywhere these are full of fruits. And this is the experiment I shared with you last time. How can we grow plants vertically? a Dutch bucket hydroponic system. Now I'm taking it to another step and this is only an experiment of the type. So far this has been successful. So what I did here, I attached these buckets in a series. And at the bottom of the bucket I connected a pipe that will take the water back to the reservoir. This is a reservoir. I'm having a submersible pump here that takes the water up. I have this manifold here and I'm taking irrigation tubing attached to each bucket. Inside the bucket the water level remains at 3 inches and then there is an exhaust so this water will go out, will go inside the reservoir back again. The benefit of this is that you don't have to check the water level inside the bucket. You run the submersible pump once in a week or once in two days or three days, whatever pleases you based on your own experience how long this, these buckets consume all the water. Important thing here is that as you create an exhaust for this water here, these roots will start coming and going inside this pipe. That is a major drawback. So I have come up with a solution. I have taken a land fabric piece like this one and then I put it here. I took the fabric piece out just to show you. I will put it here and I will zip tie it here. So that will prevent the roots to go inside the pipe and, but the water will still go through the pipe to the reservoir. Now I have also attached a timer in the reservoir so that it controls when the pump starts and when it stops. So what I am doing right now is once a week I turn this water on for 15 minutes, the buckets get full and then slowly the water drains and stays at the level of 3 inches and where there is an exhaust pipe and then this takes care of itself going back to the reservoir. You can see I am growing tomatoes here. We have already harvested these tomatoes twice and they are ready for the third time. The fruits are everywhere. So this experiment is successful but I will still make changes to this prototype what I am thinking of instead of attaching the pipe like in the current setup I will attach these buckets together so I'll make a hole here we'll take a larger diameter pipe we'll connect it to the second bucket so if I fill only one bucket then the water level will remain the same in all of the buckets I would not need to use these irrigation tubic in that tubing in that case. So that is another thought. In order to grow the plants successfully all you have to understand what are the basic requirements of a plant to grow. When we grow plants in a soil what they need from soil? Nutrition of course, water, oxygen and soil supplies them a base so that they can stand, they do not fall. So they stand firm in the soil, that is the first requirement. So if you can keep the plants firm, I use these foam as I've shown you earlier. And then there, these are the elbows. So I insert the plant in it as I've shown you in my earlier videos. So I can control the plant standing tall like that and then we can provide support, not a big issue. Secondly, nutrition, you can supply nutrition with the water. 
Uh, water is also needed for transpiration, so they will consume more water than they will evaporate. So water requirement, you can take care of it. Nutrition, you can take care. And making the plant firm, you, you can take care. The another thing is the oxygen. That is why the all the roots should not be submerged in the water. Some of the roots should be exposed to the oxygen so they can get oxygen as well. So besides the nutrition, they will get oxygen that way and they will get water for transpiration. This is all you need in a setup. But this is simply a prototype. Might be looking ugly. I try to use whatever available material is lying with me because I keep experimenting in a different setups. So next year I'm planning to connecting these buckets together and instead of using these irrigation tubing probably I can fill one bucket and then the water level will be maintained in all the buckets. So so much so for this video. We'll catch you up later. Thank you.